Oh, you're a traitor. You switched from the People's Party. Now you're supporting Pierre Poiliev and the Conservative Party. No, I'm not a traitor. I'm a patriot. I love Canada. When I joined the People's Party, the Conservative Party was under Aaron O'Toole, who was a left-wing lunatic. If you don't think there's a difference between Aaron O'Toole and Pierre Poiliev, it's self-evident. Pierre Poiliev is different. He has renounced Davos, saying that he doesn't want to have anything to do with the World Economic Forum. He does have different policies on vaccine mandates. Even Trudeau himself admitted it, saying that he took the opportunity when he met with Joseph Biden to complain about vaccine mandates. And now the Liberal Party has just announced that that's going to be mandatory for travel for Canadians. They've jumped the shark with this authoritarian, mandatory vaccination policy. We have to fight against that at all costs. The Conservative Party is different from when I joined the People's Party. If you cannot see that, they say, oh, well, you know, he voted to, to, uh, to uh, ban uh, conversion therapy. So he's a pedophile and a cuck and all these other names that they call him because of that. He's not a pedophile. Yes, he did vote for policies that are not in line with conservative policies. I don't agree with all the conservative policies that they have. But some change is better than no change, is what I'm trying to say. I've always agreed with the People's Party policy, but we have to be realistic. We have to take serious action at all costs, and not just to say, well, our party's better, so we have to say, put Canada first, and the party's second. What is the best way to make change in Canada? Get Poilier elected. That's it. Straightforward. He has the bulk of support. He, has the bu he did the best job fundraising as the leader of the opposition. And that is the only sensible, reasonable, realistic chance of defeating soundly the liberal political establishment. Thank you.